Hi, this is Alan Saunders with Pittsburgh Sports Live here at WVU Coliseum in Morgantown, West Virginia, where the West Virginia Mountaineers took home the backyard brawl 69-59 by a similar final score as they did a year ago. Obviously, it was a much different game with a much different pit team, but the outcome, the same for the Panthers, something obviously frustrating for very many pit fans. Uh, who expected a better result from this team than they got a year ago under Kevin Stallings with less talent than this team has. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the new talent that was the issue for the Panthers as Xavier Johnson led the team with 21 points. Trey McGowan's had 19 points. Uh, the freshman backcourt did just fine. It was the rest of the Panthers that were able, unable to come through, scoring just 19 points for the rest of the team combined. Jeff Cable said they need to do more to have a more balanced offense, both when it came to moving the ball and just other guys making some shots when they had the opportunity. Well, we, we, we had to uh, attack their pressure without turning the ball over um, in, the, in, in the full court and the half court. And then we needed to make shots. You know, we got some good looks at times. I thought Jared Wilson Frame got some really good looks. We just couldn't make them. But that's what their pressure does to you sometimes. They speed you up. And we have to, you know, going forward when we're playing against teams like this, we have to be able to have the poise to be able to knock those shots down when we have the opportunities. Of course, this game is a rivalry for the fans, of the alumni of both of these schools, but it's a relatively new experience for most of the players in this game. Uh, but the Johnson and McGowan said after the game they caught, caught on pretty quickly that this was going to be a physical contest at a different level than they've experienced to this point in their collegiate career. Um, I mean, we had seen videos, we had heard about it, but, I mean, you can't really, like, know what you're walking into until, like, you get there. Um, we haven't really went up against a press like that or a shot blocker like that, matter, um, even in that. So, I mean, it was physical. I feel like we, we kind of held our own and we get physical too. You think you might be sore in the morning? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of feeling it right now. Because, I mean, they're, they're, they're a team that they, they foul the whole time and the refs don't call it. I mean, you know, that, that's just their play style, so. The Panthers will now have a week off between games for finals. And, uh, you know, it's a time that they can regroup after losing uh, two straight games and three of their last four in contests at Iowa, at West Virginia, and at home against Niagara. They've still got five non-conference games before they close out the year uh, and move into ACC play in January. Um, McGowan said this is a good time to take a break and reset uh, as things move forward. Yes, I think so. But, I mean, Probably going to rest tomorrow um, and then get better Monday. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, so it is a game that, uh, that we, we, we should grow for. Uh, I mean, they, they press us pretty much. Uh, we turned the ball over. Uh, the referee wasn't calling a, a lot of fouls, and we, we didn't play through it. The Panthers will next host Maryland Eastern Shore at the Peterson Event Center next Saturday. We'll, of course, be there uh, with all of our coverage for every Pitt men's basketball game this season. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Alan Saunders, Pittsburgh Sports Live.